The minority in parliament is challenging claims by chairman of parliament finance committee that approval has been given to the finance minister to spend 1.2 billion Ghana CDs from the contingency fund to help deal with COVID-19 issues. Among others, the money will be used to provide meals, pay for free water, as well as incentives to health care workers, plus 600 million CDs for soft loans to businesses. The Finance Committee met Ken Ofriata yesterday after the speaker referred the request to it uh, and suspended sitting indefinitely. Chairman Dr. Mark Isibebua tells John News the committee authorized the approval and the minister can now spend the sum. The authorization that is whereas under Article 171 uh, you uh, requested of us, we grant you this approval. He can start spending the moment he gets this in the next 30 minutes. Okay. And um, without recourse to plenary? No. The constitution is clear, Article 1771. The minister will come to the finance committee. This whole business of ferrying this through the plenary, well, I can say that uh, we could have avoided it. The constitution is clear. The constitution has general provisions on referrals being made by the speaker. But the constitution also in 177 has a specific provision which says that when an emergency arises, go to the finance committee. It's not for nothing that the constitution envisages this. The constitution envisages that there will be times that parliament is on recess. You cannot summon the whole two sets. But you can easily get in touch with the chairman, the members of the committee. They give this authorization. When they authorize, later on you bring the expenditure thereof. So, is, is, isn't that the point? That there is also reference to supplementary estimates. Shouldn't so that's the one seven seven two. So after spending, he will bring all the details. Shouldn't it be before? Uh, I didn't grab the constitution. The, the framers of the constitution say that we authorize the spending because it's an emergency. This is not the first time we did it after the June third floods when there was the uh, swine flu. The two we did it uh, from the contingency fund. So this is not new. They are also asking for uh, electricity waivers, uh, generally to somebody. Uh, members uh, we, we have, water. Yeah, so what next? Why didn't they add fuel, free fuel? Hmm? When you go meet them, these are some of the questions you want. Why, why are you going to stop? There are budgetary constraints. Mm -hmm. Can you do everything around the sun at a go? So why did they stop at electricity? Let the, let us, uh, let the government give free fuel to you. You don't think so? Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, so budgetary constraints mean that we can only do so much at any point in time. They've also raised concerns that they wanted to see proper breakdown uh, in right. terms of figures, in terms of time. So, so you, you uh, interview me. Have you averted your mind to 1771 mm. yourself? If you read 1771, it is clear that what we are doing is that it's to determine whether an emergency has arisen. One. Two was provision made in the budget. Do you understand? At this point, we are not getting, it's not a normal approval. That's why it is coming through the finance committee in an emergency. So if you look at 1771, the things we are, uh, that are required of us is to determine whether an emergency has arisen, whether provision is made in the budget. If not, then we authorize spending. Um, my final question, value judgment. You think these provisions will cushion Ghanaians enough um, and, 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 and help people live better in these times of the lockdown? And I, buy, I buy water in my home. I think we do 80 Ghana every five days. <laughs> that, that's sufficient cushion for me for the three months. Do the math. So if I'm doing 400 Ghana, hmm, go ask those who are getting free meals. They will tell you that it's coming in handy. Dry, dry foods are also going, health workers, non-payment of taxes. We should be applauding the efforts of that. We see this happening all over the world. Mm -hmm. People are coming together in a bipartisan way to ferry this through. Why are we bogged down on intangibles? Will the economy ever recover from It will take time. It will take time. This is a health crisis. I said it the last time on the floor, as well as an economic crisis. If even today it is determined that the, there are no cases of coronavirus in Ghana, there will be an economic crisis because we are cut off from the rest of the world. Our behaviors have changed for, for the rest of our lives. And people sleeping in hotels, people traveling uh, abroad, people eating from restaurants, they will change their habits. Uh, uh, businesses will take a hit, okay? The economy will slow down. So 
will take time for the adjustments to be made. How much time do you envisage? Would governments have to do anything differently if we can recover? No, no, no. In, the in the MPP, we know how to bring the economy back to its feet, but we we'll need time. Just as we inherited um, a messy economy and now we have restored it uh, back to life, it will take time, I mean, a minimum two, three years for this economy to come back on this. We are a small open economy. It means a lot. If you cut the rest of the world off, it hurts us, our exports, our imports, essential drugs coming in. So our tax revenue, import duties. Yeah, so it will take some time. Thank you.